And we thank you for your people that you are brought here by your power. We thank you because you have all our different lives in your hands. And we thank you because no one comes to this program by chance. No one connects to this program by chance. Those who connect, connect by divine appointment. And so as many as are hearing my voice now, as many as are connected to this program anywhere, drive there where you are. I I decree by the decree of heaven that any power that does not want your story to change to glory all those powers holding anybody's glory captive all those powers that are sent over their dead bodies will you move all the strange insects strange serpent buried into people's lives all your honor stolen by the enemy bad tools that are inside the body to keep you from moving forward all the program of the elders of darkness that are frustrating anybody here in the name which is above all Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command those powers to die in the name of Jesus I command them to die in the name of Jesus it is written though we walk in the flesh we do not walk after the flesh but the weapons of our warfare are not coming but the mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination and every eye thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God Every stronghold assigned against your star, I pull them down in the name of Jesus. I put them down. 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 I put them down in the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice? Any they have transferred your glory. They have transferred your virtue. Some are using your virtue as your glory. Where you are without them. Right there where you are. Possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Possess it. 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 In the name of Jesus. All the dark powers that are multiplying themselves against you. I scattered them in the name of Jesus. This next prayer needs a sevenfold hell shaking. Amen. Powers assigned to wear on you the garment of mockery. I kill them now in the name of Jesus. I kill to pray the second prayer a giant sevenfold amen is necessary powers assigned to pursue you away from your place of comfort I scatter them in the name of Jesus I'm going to
to pray third prayer. I want your amen, sevenfold amen to be the loudest. Power! A sign to make you beg from where you should not beg. I kill them now in the name Masika pola kaya mo shenda raba, riba sopola kaya mo shenda raba kola basanda. Finally, lakoto. As I pray this next prayer, you want to bad rat talk on it. Let your tenfold amen be stronger than any other other person. And immediately you shout the tenth. Amen. This resurrection power, the volcanic power of the Holy Ghost will fall upon you. To bring answer to that, that prayer. Oh God, God arise. Oh Lord, let your enemies in our bodies. Oh God arise. Oh Lord, let all your enemies in our bodies. Scatter. It's happening. It's happening. That's the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Father, we thank you. Baba, I do pray. Continue to lay your hands upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Don't forget that the Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry has provided buses to move people away from here after this service. I'd like you to listen to me carefully because the prayers we're going to start now we're going to continue next palm of strangers. This is why you must listen carefully. The prayer is called 40 dreams, 40 prayers. 40 dreams, 40 prayers. I will now go on and make some explanations. The topic is the voice of your foundation. According to your Lord, no, the only equilibrium and your dreams. Ati amwa la le. The voice of your foundation. Only equilibrium and your dreams. Ati amwa la le. This will now lead us. Ile ni o amu a wano to the forty dreams. Amwa la ugoji. Forty prayers. Listen very carefully to what I'm going to say. To lay a foundation for for the prayers we're praying. There is a lamentation in the book of Psalm. Many don't read it properly. <laughs> to, understand, to understand what this means. In Psalm 11. Psalm 11. Let's look at it from verse 1. Psalm 11, verse 1. A lamentation from the psalmist. It was like this, as if there was a conversation between the psalmist and the enemy. That they were conversing. Psalmist says, Lord, put time I trust. 
said then, why are you saying to my soul? Yeah, Flee as a bird to your mountain. So why are you threatening me? God, I put my trust. So for low, the wicked bend their bow. They make their arrow upon the string. And they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. They are fighting the righteous. Now says in verse 3. Hmm. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So when if the foundation is destroyed, it means the righteous has a lot of things to contend with. We're not talking about sinners now. Those ones are ready meat for the enemy. History it repeats itself. It always does. Because no one listens to history. Experience and history teach, but people and governments never learn anything from history. Most times they don't act on the principles deduced from history. When you begin to study history of man, history of tribulation, history of problems, or you are one of us who, when, who are interested in solution evangelism. You will learn some very deep lessons about the troubles of man. I want to pick just an example. There are plenty of examples. Let me pick just one. Moses. Moses. Moses led a fascinating and mysterious life. Moses lived a distinguishing life. An unparalleled life. Moses was the prince of Egypt. He was the giver of the law. Moses was God's faithful servant. The Bible says Moses was more humble than anybody on the surface of the earth. The Bible says Moses spoke to God face to face. Many of us are dreamers and uh, guessers, but he spoke to God face to face. People have expected that a fellow who spoke to God face to face, why should his foundation fight him? Moses communicated God's words to the people. He was a spokesman for God. For then he was at the same time a psalmist. Like Psalm 90 was Moses that wrote it. Moses was an historian. Was a prophet like no other prophet. The Bible says there was no prophet like Moses that God spoke to face to face. A strange man. A mysterious man. A controversial man. But a man who lived an unparalleled life. He was the child of a slave. But at the same time, the son of a queen, Moses. He was born in a hut, but he lived in the palace. That's why I say he's a strange man. 
By birth, he inherited poverty. But he enjoyed unlimited wealth in the palace of the king. He was the leader of armies. But also the keeper of flocks. He was a mighty warrior, also a very meek man. He was highly educated. He was educated in the court and dwell in the desert. He had all the wisdom of Egypt, but he had the faith of a child. He was a man who was fitted for the city but wandering about in the wilderness. He was very backward in speech. He, he stuttered. He was a stammerer. But he turned with God. He had the rod of the shepherd and the power of the infinite God in his hand. He was the giver of law and the forerunner of the grace. He was trying to describe Moses to you now. He died alone on Mount Moab. But the same person appeared with Christ later in the New Testament. No man assisted at the funeral of Moses. It was God that buried him. But in spite of all these qualifications, there was a voice, a voice contending with him fighting him a voice pushing him fighting him tempting him fighting him fighting him and those voices come who we'll dodge it who come again Moses who dodge it who come again Moses who dodge it but eventually they caught up with him in Psalm 106 verse 32 God only me fa. 106 verse 32 Said, several times they provoke this man in the wilderness he dodges it he dodge it but then one day did not dodge and that was it Psalm 106 verse 32 they Angered him also at the waters of strife. So that it went ill with Moses for their sakes. It went ill for Moses. That is exactly what the voice wanted. The voice of his foundation wanted it to be ill with him. Because they provoke his spirit. So that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. The voices of Moses' foundation eventually cut off. The ancestors of Moses have very bad temper. That bad temper has now cut off with him. Moses was born under the sentence of death. So go and drown all the all the males in the in the river. The father and mother of Moses. Amram and Jochebed. They gave secret cover for him for three months. And it's difficult to keep a a baby for three months without letting anybody know that it's a baby in the house. Those are the voices of deception, voices of death that have been hanging over Moses from his foundation. The name Moses 
Moses was not a name given by God. It was given by the daughter of Pharaoh. So may I ask you, who gave you your own name that you are bearing now? Many are bearing the names given by their enemies. Was the daughter of Pharaoh who named Moses? It means the name Moses means drawn out of the waters. So meaning that from the beginning of the life of Moses, he had been placed under the canopy of marine powers. What if that one was there fighting their own battle. Moses now grew up in the palace of Pharaoh. The palace of Pharaoh was the center of Egyptian demons. And the Bible says in Acts 7.22 that Moses was learning it all the wisdom of the Egyptians. He learned all the wisdom of the Egyptians. Oh, you say, what is the wisdom of the Egyptians? Incisions. Mummies. To preserve the, the body as if the body is still alive. Juries. Architecture. Obelix, that thing that they put that has a tall point to the end. Embalming the dead. Astronomy. Engineering. Pyramids. Magic. Those were the wisdom of Egypt. Wisdom of Egypt. Egypt. So Moses eventually lived for 120 years. 40 years he was in the palace of Pharaoh. 40 years he was in Midian, backside of the desert. And 40 years it was a deliverer of the people of Israel. Egyptian bondage. He wanted to be somebody. God taught him that he was nobody. God eventually made him somebody. And so the anger of Moses was serious. Through that anger, he killed that Egyptian. Through the anger, he smashed the first ten commandments tablet that God gave to him. He smashed it. I don't know whether God forgive him for doing that. When the children of Israel were worshipping idols, Moses ground the idol to powder and he made them to drink it. No wonder when Moses died, Satan demanded for him. Satan is this one belongs to us. But God said no. So that powerful man Moses was susceptible to the voice of his foundation. I'm praying for somebody here. Any voice speaking from your foundation, talking failure, talking death, talking disgrace, talking embarrassment, by your tenfold amen, I silence them in the name of Jesus. of your foundation can hire a lawyer against you in the spirit realm. The voice of your foundation can move you from grace 
to grass. The voice of your foundation can be the key to destiny abortion. The voice of your foundation is actually the fountain from which demons are drinking water. It attracts demons to your life. The voice of your foundation is strong enough to defeat the champion in you. The voice of your foundation can be the grave of your destiny. That voice is the rope that pulls champions down. The power that pulls down shining stars. The invitation to disgrace a star comes from that voice. It can rewire your brain to failure. You say you have spirit husband, spirit wife, it can empower them. It can bury multiple talents. It disconnects a man from the voice of heaven. It programs destiny impotence. It punctures the virtue balloons and talent balloon of people. The voice of the foundation can turn winners to executive losers and put cancer in many souls because of the way we live our lives running up and down all over the place because of that God runs a school in the middle of the night the purpose, the purpose of that school is in Job chapter 33. God runs a school in the middle of the night. I you find the school in Job chapter 33? Verse 15. Job 33, 15. God runs a school in the middle of the night. Let's see what the school is all about. Let's speak it from verse 15. In a dream. Or let's speak it from 14. For God speak at once. Yet twice. Yet man passes by it now. So in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, it is stumbling upon the bed. Then he opened the ears of men and select their instruction. Why? That he may withdraw man from his purpose. And I pray for man. He keep it back his soul from the pit. And his life by perishing by the sword. This is talking about the mystery of dreams. God in his infinite mercy has designed to instruct men through their dreams. And like I've been saying before, your dream life is your spiritual monitor. Good dreams always end well. Bad dreams do not end well. There are 40 indicator dreams for those troubled by their foundation or for those the voices from the foundation kept harassing and tormenting. One. Sing corpses. Coffins. Attending funeral services. And you are still a young person. 
There's a voice calling you from the grave. Calling you from the grave. I'm praying for anyone here. But if there are voices from the grave, someone near you. I silence them in the name of Jesus. Let that man rule like thunder. Two. It's been handcuffed or chained. Do you want that day? Shake, shake, man, your love. I be one day your money. It means your hands are just there physically. They've been tied in the spirit realm. There are curses on your handwork. What you must be? I want to know I'm better than you. What you do, man? You know me. I want a gun belt on your shoulder. Three. It can't. Marriage to unknown persons. You are supposed to know the person you are marrying. In the spirit realm, you find yourself in a wedding ceremony and you have no clue where the partner is from. I'm praying for anyone here like this. That you dreamt you are marrying a strange man or a strange woman. I divorce you from that marriage in the name of Jesus. A louder amen. Four. Walking barefootedly. If yes, Eri, like what When the enemy has removed your shoes in the spirit, but not about it, but but a cool lower any me. It's a foundation dream. I like with any five. It can wearing torn dresses. We wore a wutoti ya six. It can for air remover. Give one man five one in your. Don't find air on the head anymore. Oh, why do you know Lori? You have air physically, but but spiritually, you are born. Seven. Okay, See yourself naked. Means disgrace and insecurity. Eight. Okay, Unknown persons beating you up. Gunshots and bullets and arrows. Fired against you. It's a foundation dream. I like the Ten. Being beaten by animals. Foundation dream. I like the Eleven. Unable to cross a river. I lay so down do. You know you needed to cross to that other side. Oh my God, you go so down see that key on the cage. You are not able to do so. To go re so down. Foundation dream. I like the lady. Twelve. The cage la. Going back to former school, former house, all those places of past before. You just found yourself going back, going back, going back there. When father see in there, go to the learning back there. I be late to the learning back to what? Ni back on the. Let go back. Lato ban di go. Father see be to the day the lady. I like the lady. There are dreams of retrogression. I want Allah if I say it. The enemy is trying to return you backwards. Or to fed down by that. Cause so they were in it. If you are here now, or you are listening to many words, and you have been having the dreams of going back to the houses where you were when you were young, going back to your former primary school, going back to the apprentice place you've left, rise to your feet now. And with anger boiling in your soul. Even if you don't think you have that dream, with anger boiling in your soul, can you pray this prayer while these angels are around? Assigned to return me to square one. You want to tell me, Father, says in the name of Jesus. Decree. Rebasa, Pachila, Kata. 
Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus la Badura. Sit down, Blabla. Ejo Kwara. Thirteen. Ekatala. Max. I want me. Strange incisions on the body. Ati, I want better to share. You can't even marry Lara. You sleep without them. You wake up with them. Batoji Oberziri. It's a foundational matter. Allah. Fourteen, wearing grave clothes. Fifteen, finding yourself in court as the accused. Sixteen, nursing a strange baby. Breastfeeding a strange baby. Drinking the milk of your life. 17. Loss of shoes. Or sandals. Which transmits to marital distress. 18. Loss or stealing of keys. Foundation dream. 19 is attacked by dogs. The foundation dream. 20 is seen tortoises and snails. See, tortoises, snakes. They all mean slow progress. Procrastination. 21. Swimming, swimming in the waters. When physically you can't even swim. It is foundation dream. Same masquerades. Those means essential sweet and witchcraft powers. 22. That those are foundational dreams. Really, really foundational dreams. I'm praying for somebody here today. Any masquerade that has ever appeared to you, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. 23. Begging for food or begging for hands. 24. Bleeding. Bleeding. That is loss of virtue and slow death. 25 is cobwebs. Which is an agenda to make a person stale. 26. Bogos, earrings. And jewelries, meaning slavery and domination. We were here to to be bang, but at the end we showed up. The late Mosi Jagabane Lori at his siru. Twenty-seven. Ikata the Lord Mosi serving others and engaging in hard labor. Since I went no more, at his she 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 kara. Yourself working, working, just serving, serving, cooking, serving people, just being there. It's like it's just like a spiritual slave. Ori da de kon she 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 un si I went no more, un touch you I went no more. Twenty-eight is sexual harassment in the dream. Sometimes waking up with pains and with semen all over the body. Twenty-nine. Getting out of body. Getting out of body and seeing your body on the floor. On the bed. So foundation dreams. Thirty. The woman being violated by male and female personality. Thirty one is looking in the mirror and seeing another face, not yours. Thirty-two is 
you find yourself in a different family setup, different from the one you have physically here. You could see another husband, another children, another accommodation, different setting entirely. It means you are actually living a double life. You need to cancel that life in the spirit. And the thing when you see parts of the body missing, thirty-four is falling into labor and delivery and delivery a non-human material. Thirty-five is marriage or wedding with mother or father. That is this is sex with father or mother, which is ancestral spirit spouse. Thirty-seven is fighting creatures. That you beat and beat and beat and they refuse to die. That's it. It's being installed as a king or a queen in an unknown place. That's not pursued by headless creatures. Headless scripture in the dream means senselessly destructive enemies. Forty is seen pepe, pepe, red oil, pepe, red oil, pepe, red oil. This translates to extreme wickedness against you. Heartless wickedness against you. Wickedness targeted against your life. These are the 40 dreams indicating that you do have a foundational voice to silence. This is why we need the program. Forty dreams. Forty prayers. Each of these dreams that I've just mentioned. It will take us one hour. To thoroughly explain the implication of each one. The kind, that kind of time luxury we don't have at this program and the purpose of explanation is for you to understand how to fight he is a useless soldier who has a gun and is asking why is the enemy why is the enemy he doesn't even know where to shoot or who to shoot the purpose of this teaching is to expose the enemy so that you can fire a direct arrow sharp shooting arrow before you can participate in this kind of prayer you need to surrender your life to Jesus you need to become a friend of God. You need to depend from all your known sin. You will be part of the winning team. You have an opportunity today to deal with this turn. Then we continue next time. Right there where you are. Why all eyes are closed? You say, Pastor, I had what to say. I want to be delivered. 
I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, just get up on your seat and find a way to meet at the altar here. We shall wait for you at the altar here. Find your way here very, very quickly. If you are coming, take your bag along if you have a bag. Find a way to this altar very, very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you here. This is not a day to negotiate. It's not a day to play with the enemy. It's a day of victory and power. But for you to access that power and that victory, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. So find a way to this altar very God bless us to do so. of you at the altar I congratulate you taking the most important decision in life bow down your heads say what I'm going to say now say Father 
in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children. Who have surrendered their lives to Jesus today. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. And hold them by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are, the counselors will discuss with you. I will tell you what to do. The rest of us, let's bow down our heads and speak to the Lord like this. Say, Father, Baba, today, today, Lone, I must fight and I must win in the name of Jesus. Begin to talk to the Lord. name we pray. Every prayer you have prayed on that picture, I command the prayers to become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying for those who are celebrating their birthday this month. I decree that I shall be well with them. By this time next year, Jesus stands in his coming. There will be a big bundle of testimonies. In the name of Jesus. All the prayer requests that your children are brought here. Let those prayer requests also become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Rise to your feet now. Time to start prayers. The prayers are not ordinary prayers. And we don't have too much time to pray them. But I have confidence in Jehovah. That as many as who pray this prayer, their stories must change to glory. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Stretch it towards this altar. Masika tenda ne kayabo. Riba se ni katenda. Father, I stand against every infirmity gathered here or anywhere you're hearing my voice. I stand against spirit of paralysis. I stand against the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. I stand against every form of pain. I stand against every which can sponsor the infirmity. I stand against them by the power and the blood of Jesus. And I bind and I cast them out in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Everything you could not do before, receive power to do them now in the name of Jesus. Let his hands become the hands of healing, the hands of deliverance and power in the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in your body, smite it with your hand 21 fold. Don't bother whether the place is painful. Smite it. Don't even bother whether there is a wound there. Smite it. It must go back to the ascenders. As you smite it, shout, Blood of Jesus. Let's go.
Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. Begin to check your body now. Put your faith into action. Do what you could not do before you got here. I see a woman being healed from a long time in family. I see the serpent in the womb crying out. I see the power of God falling upon one brother over there. And the agenda of witchcraft for your health has disappeared. Check your body very well. Do what you could not do before. Yes, you have been healed. Once notice that you have been healed and the sickness has disappeared, don't let the devil put it back. Run quickly to this altar here. Run to the altar. Don't allow the enemy to put it back. See what is happening over there. Somebody has been healed on the gallery. Something that has traveled your journey with you for years has just been shaken out. Check the migraine. Check the neck pain. Check the lumps in the breast. Check the swollen, swollen part of your womb. Check it very, very well. It's gone. Find a way quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This prayer, beloved, I want to do that with you. Yes, find a way to the altar. Don't be afraid. It's gone. You are, you are surprised. Don't be surprised. Jesus has taken over. Find a way to the altar. This prayers, they are to be said with acidic violence. They are prayers to address wickedness. They are prayers to address the enemy that does not want you to have peace. They are pressed to address plantations of darkness. They are pressed to put the enemies to shame. I want to beg you. Even if it's only a few of these prayers who are going to pray. I want you to pray the way you've never prayed before. Let your voice be the loudest as you shout to the heavens. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Ah! Provoking secret tears in my life. Don't show for five quick or call in my name. Can you say it with only anger? Your voice is not angry enough. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. name we pray. Powers! Turning my seat of glory into the seat of battle. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. What are you waiting for? Death. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus name we pray covenant of wicked elders that stole my glory your voice is not loud enough Pray in the name of Jesus Break it for in Jesus name we pray powers Agara into serpents to poison my life can you shout it loud catch fire in the name of Jesus open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth Then we pray. Oh God, arise by the thunder of your power. Can you say this loud? Disgrace, my disgrace. Don't you in the name of Jesus? Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your voice be the loudest here and let the angels hear. Know that you are serious. By your name, Jah. Can you shout it loud? My way. Honor me. Open. In the name of Jesus. 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 Then we pray. This prayer should be done in boiling anger. If you are not going to get angry, don't even bother to pray. Powers that have sold me before I was born. Can you say it with boiling anger? Before I leave this place, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Voice 
this is in my foundation attacking my next level in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray in Jesus then we pray and so we fall the man let's rest our feet now and grip your head with your two hands for what I made you the body them and shout out loud like this. The louder you shout it, the faster. Blind Bartimaeus did not say his prayers. He cried his prayers. My head! Jesus' name we pray. Lord, call Jesus. Lay your hand on your chest now. Shout this loud. My blood. My blood. My blood. Receive the blood of Jesus. Kill every infirmity. In the name Jesus, then we pray. Lord, we call Jesus like a Bible talks about pestilence that walketh in the noonday. An example is infirmity flying all over the world now. We are going to raise our voices like fire and like thunder. Every flying infirmity. We are not your candidates. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus name we pray. Lord who called Jesus Labadura. Say thank you, Jesus. We we'll continue our 40 dreams, 40 prayers. Next power must change us. But the ones we've done today has brought uncommon testimonies which have manifested which is manifesting and which will manifest 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Before you go, pray this one prayer for Nigeria. Eaters of flesh. Drinkers of blood. Assign against Nigeria. Destroy yourself. In the name of Jesus. Command them to destroy themselves. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord bless you some Zion. Great strength shall shine upon you and be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. It is well with you. This month be a month of signs and wonders for you. And everywhere you appear, darkness shall flee. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. It is written that the highs that neither slumbers nor sin shall be your rock and your shame. No plague shall move to your dwelling place. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. And let us share the grace and fellowship. Seven Gola, destroy Hallelujah. Let's go.